In this video, we are going to be using Canva to design a logo. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you need to do is create a new logo project. So we are going to go to logo, click on it, and then create our logo. So we have a client brief for the logo that we are going to be designing. The brand name for the logo that we are designing is Bookwatcher. So we are going to be designing a logo for a book company. So first we are going to pick out a relevant template. And then once we have chosen a template, we are going to design the logo from scratch using some ideas from the template. So let's scroll through these templates to find one which will be relevant for our logo. A badge logo could look good, so we will keep those ones in mind. An education logo could also look good, so we may come back to those. And now we've gone through all of the different categories, so we can now see all of the logo templates. We simply need to find one that will stand out. Here we go, I think this one here looks quite nice, so let's click onto this. So we have an icon to the left, the brand name in the center, and a tagline just below it. So we will create a new page, delete the background, and then we are going to design a logo for Bookwatcher with this template in mind. So we have the font, the layout, and we also need to remember that there is an icon to the left. We don't need to use that specific icon. I'm already thinking that a book icon would look a lot better. So what we need to do first is the background. So we will close these templates by clicking this little button here to hide them. And then we are going to go to background. And then we can select a color or an image for our background. Of course, as this is for a logo, we do not want to select an image. So we're going to look at the colors up here at the top. And we want to find one that will look nice. So we could go for a dark color or a light color. It is completely up to you. I think this blue here looks quite nice. So here we go, we have our background already. So now that we have a background, we want to add the text. So we are going to go over here and click onto text and then go to add a heading and then type in our brand name. So the brand we are creating a logo for is Bookwatcher and I'm not sure on the color for the text just yet, but we definitely don't want black. So we're going to get rid of that and make it white. However, we can change it later on. So now we will add the tagline. So we'll go to text again and add a subheading and the tagline is forever reading books. And I'll select it and move it to below the logo. Here is all right for now. And we'll also change the color to white for this as well, just so that it all fits in together. So we can still change the colors and the fonts later on, but we will leave it like this for now. The next thing that we will do is add the icon to our design. If we go back to the template, as you can see, there's an icon to the left of the main logo text. So I think we are going to add a book icon. So to add an icon to your design, go to elements, and then simply search for the icon that you want to use. So I am going to search for book, and then I'll hit enter. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I quite like this one down here. So I will click onto this and I'll make this one white as well. And then I'll make it a bit smaller. This looks good. And I'll center it. And I'll put it just here. And it doesn't really fit in very well. So what we're going to do is resize everything, make it all a bit bigger, make sure it is centered into the design, like so. And then we can move it over to the left a little more. That's good. Okay, so here we go. This is what we have created so far. I think that realistically what we need to do now is change the font because these two fonts don't really suit each other at all. So we will select the main logo text and then click onto the current font, which will allow us to pick any font that we want to use instead. There are loads and loads of different font options. You just need to find the one which will look best for your brand. 
I personally like to go through them until I find the one which I think will look good for my particular project. Usually when you find a good one it will stick out and you will instantly know that it is the one you want. So just keep going through them until you find the perfect font. I quite like this one to be honest, it is called Anonymous Pro. But I think that it might look better bold. So let's make it bold by clicking on the B icon up here. That's great, I think that that looks really good. So now we need to choose a font for the tagline. I think that it will look good with the same font, I just won't make this one bold. So I will select the font here and we can make the text a bit smaller so that it fits in better. Next to the font we can edit the text size. So I will change the text size to 18 but I think that it still needs to be a bit smaller so let's try 16 now. And there we go, that looks absolutely fantastic. So now what you need to do is reposition it until it looks good. So I'm going to move it to the left, like so. Just make sure that it is lined up properly. I quite like this to be honest, but I want it to be the same width as the main text. So I'm going to select it again, and then I'll click onto spacing up here. And then I am going to slightly increase the letter spacing. There we go, that could be good. So then we'll realign it. So there we go, the text is sorted. Now we're going to move the icon a bit more. Just make sure that it's centered. Move it all in together. I think it should go up a little bit more. There we go, that looks nice. And then select everything and make it a bit bigger and make sure that it's centered once again. And here we go, I think this looks great now. So we have a few different elements. We have the main text and then we have the subheading or the tagline. And then on the left of the design, we have the book icon. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. So once you have finished designing your logo, the last thing you need to do is export it. So you want to go to download at the top right, select the page that you want to export. And then if you have a pro Canva account, you have a few more options. First, you can change the size of your design. The second option allows you to export your design with a transparent background. Bear in mind that this only works if you export as a PNG. And the third and final option allows you to compress the file, which lowers the quality, but it also makes it take up less storage space. However, I'm going to leave it as it is. And then finally, I'll click download. And then choose where you want to download your file to. And then name your file. I am going to leave it as it is and then click save. And there we go, we have now successfully exported our logo design. So let's click onto this to open it. So this is what we have just created. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. So now you should know how to design and download a logo within Canva. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Once again, thanks and goodbye.